What's up guys this is Ram from Archie Hech Tech TV and uh, today I have here with me the Nokia Lumia 525 so let's do a tips and tricks video with this Nokia Lumia 525 so let me take a minute and uh, explain you uh, the interface we, it has so uh, this is called as a metro UI or the tile interface and uh, some people do like it as it's uh, vertical scroll down and uh, some people don't because uh, for the notifications you have to scroll down to that particular application to see the notification and uh, uh, people from android definitely don't like it because in android you have the notification uh, center so it is a centralized notification center where you'll get all the notifications uh, when you swipe from uh, top to bottom and uh, so this is uh, this is it uh, about the interface so you can customize this interface and uh, but the customizations are pretty limited so let me show you one of them like uh, if you press and hold it will give the option to resize this and to unpin this so you can resize this and uh, you can also unpin this if you don't want and uh, how to bring uh, the applications onto the home screen just uh, press and hold uh, the application and uh, it gives the option like to pin to start so there you go and uh, you can resize it and uh, you can move it uh, wherever you want right so easy and uh, so swiping uh, from uh, right to left you get this uh, app tray so where you'll, ha you'll have all the applications uh, so which are present in your phone and uh, so actually uh, Microsoft has made it easier to find the applications by just uh, tapping on this alphabet and you can go to whatever alphabet you need right let me go to N and all the Nokia applications are in here so you do have some customizations but they are not uh, that good when compared to Android right so uh, now let's see how to customize this uh, lock screen and uh, uh, you can pretty much change the background add the applications which shows a quick statuses and also you can add the password protected lock screen so let's see how to do that let's go to settings and uh, lock screen and here we have the option to change the photo so let's change it to this is cool right and it has been changed now also you can add applications like let's add whatsapp so any notifications from our whatsapp it will be shown on the lock screen and uh, let's add our password here one two three four right and let's confirm the password one two three four done so there you go we have set the password now and let's check it So when you swipe from uh, bottom to top, it'll ask the password for you. So let's type in one, two, three, four. There we go. See, it's so easy. So uh, interestingly, this phone comes with uh, a voice assistant, but uh, it's uh, pretty limited uh, to just calling a person or opening up applications. I'll just show you the demo of that. So to do, to uh, enable the voice assistant, you have to long press uh, the home button. Uh, open calculator. there you go uh, in this way you can open calculator and uh, you can also open other applications or you can call other persons so uh, and uh, now let's go to home and uh, there is another feature called as multitasking so uh, to go to that long press back button there you go you go for the uh, you can actually uh, switch between the applications or uh, if you don't want you can cancel these applications right So uh, now let's see how to check for updates. So let's go to settings. So and uh, make sure you turn on the uh, Wi-Fi or the 3G network and then check for updates. So let's go to phone update. And if you hit check for updates, uh, it will check it and uh, say and tell you like uh, if there is an update so you can download and install that. So that's easy thing. So now let's see like uh, how we can improve the battery life. So uh, first thing I would like to say is uh, Go to settings and you have this uh, themes here and uh, if you turn this to light uh, 
the screen gets actually uh, brighter and uh, it looks good but it eats up your all your uh, battery because every pixel is uh, uh, lighted up and uh, it takes a lot of battery so i suggest you to go with the dark theme so that only uh, uh, the pixels which are uh, in white color are lighted and all the black pixels are uh, turned off so uh, that will save your battery and uh, second step i would say is uh, you can uh, go to the battery saver mode i guess it's over here and there you go battery saver mode and you can turn it on and uh, third step i would say is uh, you can uh, uh, go to the brightness and uh, you can set it to low or uh, you can set it to a medium or you can uh, turn on uh, the automatic uh, adjust so i'll just keep it to medium so that's okay with me and uh, uh, finally i would say like uh, you can uh, turn off uh, the double tap uh, uh, option so which we actually use it uh, uh, in, in in the lock screen mode like uh, now if you double tap oh, wait one second so when the screen is off if you double tap here it'll turn on the screen and this actually eats up a lot of uh, battery so you can turn off that by going to touch and uh, you can uh, turn it off right and uh, you'll not get that now so every time you have to press the power button but uh, it'll definitely save your battery so I would say that this feature comes in handy and also this if you keep this uh, touch sensitivity to high uh, it'll actually uh, it says that it, it allows you to touch a screen when wearing gloves so that's really a good thing I would say so uh, I guess that's it guys uh, if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, for more videos like this subscribe to my channel so uh, thank you guys thank you very much